All right, class, so this is the molality question, and molality is a somewhat annoying unit that we use sometimes in chemistry or biology. Um, it's really not that common, but it is something that you're gonna run into, so it is something we're gonna talk about. And I do like this problem a lot in the sense that it's a, a problem-solving problem. It's sort of have to think critically, and sort of it's a, it's a puzzle, and I think that's a, a useful thing of our time. Um, so let's go ahead and get through it. So the first thing, we need to define molality. So molality is that little lowercase m, and that's gonna be the moles of solute over the kilograms of solvent. So we're gonna have to separate out the solute and the solvent um, in, our, in our mass of our you know, solvent that we're gonna use there in the denominator. So you know, getting started, we've got a 2.45 molar, so that's moles per liter, aqueous solution of methanol. Methanol is CH3OH. And it tells us the density of the entire solution is 0.976 grams per milliliter. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I'm gonna assume one liter. So the molality, the molarity, it's all gonna be the same no matter how much I have. So it's, it's convenient for me to assume one liter because therefore I will have 2.45 moles of methanol, right? So right away I can say if this is my, my molarity, then I'll have 2.45 moles of methanol, and that's gonna be the, the you know, thing that goes up here, the moles of solute, I've already got that taken care of. So now I need to figure out, well, what's the kilograms of solvent, the kilograms of just water, and that's really gonna be the key. Kilograms of water equals question mark. I can use this density to find the, the mass of the entire solution. That's gonna be the mass of the water plus the mass of the methanol, though. So let's go ahead and do that. If I've got my one liter, that's 1,000 milliliters, if I multiply that by 0.976 grams per milliliter, that gives me 976 grams, and this is gonna be my mass of the entire solution. So this is the mass of CH3OH plus the mass of water. And we are just looking for the mass of water because I just want the kilograms of solvent as my, you know, for my molality. So next thing I need to do is then figure out, well, how much, or what mass is probably a better way to say that, CH3OH. So if I have 2.45 moles of CH3OH in my solution, right, I'm assuming one liter, then I can figure out how many grams of methanol, so this is moles of methanol, I can figure out how many grams of methanol I have. So 32.05 grams over one mole, equals 78.52 grams. So in this solution, I'm gonna have 78.52 grams of methanol, and then the rest of that mass, the rest of the mass for that you know, total solution will be from water. So I could then say that my mass of H2O is gonna equal 976 minus 78.52, so I'm subtracting the mass of the, the methanol away from my total mass. That's gonna give me my mass of just water. And that's gonna be 897.5 grams of H2O. And then I'm gonna to wanna to convert that to kilograms, 0 0.8975 kilograms of H2O. And so that's what I'm gonna use as my denominator. So then finally, if I wanted to solve for my molality, that's gonna equal 2.45 moles, moles of solute, over 0 0.8975 kilograms, make sure that we're converting to kilograms, equals 2.73 molal. So molal is how we would say that. Um, 2.73 molal in CH3OH. All right, hope that helps.